Hello guys, welcome back to another video. As stated before in the last video, um, obviously I switched career fields at the moment because of COVID and aviation right now. There's just a lot of work. They were only working me at like 10 hours a week, which isn't enough to pay my rent and other bills. So I got a job as a uh, small engine mechanic um, at a uh, power equipment place. Uh, more, way more hours, money and all that. So I brought my toolbox home. Not saying I won't get back to aviation. Again, I'll put a link in the description to this video. Uh, or not this video, but that video, just talking about what's going on. Uh, so I brought my toolbox home from the uh, airport place I was working at, and uh, basically I'm resetting it up to uh, do some things on the side here for my dad's equipment, um, and a couple of my things, full roller and stuff. Um, I won't be getting rid of my 12 point sockets again. Like I said, I may eventually go back into aviation, but not for a few years till things settle down with COVID and things pick back up. So eventually I'm gonna get rid of all these six 12 point sockets, not like permanently. I'm just gonna put them in a put this bag right here and uh, put them off to the side. Uh, again, this is a, if you haven't seen my aircraft maintenance video, uh, toolbox tour, it's the same box, uh, same tools, probably a few extra additions, but it's an aircraft uh, spark plug socket, seven eight. Um, but I'm going to be putting, switching all these out for six point metric and standard. At least I'm going to hope to put them all on this rail. I'll probably do two separate rails for these specialty, um, the Allen standard and the, uh, 12 point, uh, swivel sockets quarter inch, because I don't really have another to put my wrenches in, um, big ones like this, all this. Um, so this is kind of my ratchet drawer. Again, we got a couple of snap on quarter inch long. We got a three eighths right here. Uh, Pittsburgh half inch flex gear wrench on there. Cobalt swivel. Uh, Pittsburgh three eighths and quarter inch on each end. Another Pittsburgh just a random three eighths quarter inch with a little string on it basically. So when I was using an aviation film lightning hole. Allen keys just a flexible. Crow's foot stubbies. Uh, these are all stomachs right here, by the way. Uh, there's one couple craftsmen in here because they didn't have all the way down. Um, I really highly recommend stomachs. I love their tools. I've got a lot of their tools, including impact sockets. Um, and I've got some uh, gear wrenches here in standard and just a couple of random uh, things here. Probably should have went up here too. Um, top box right now. Again, I'm gearing this for small engine stuff, working on my dad's equipment. Uh, when he doesn't have time to. Uh, again, I got a new job, so they provide me with all my tools. That's why I won't need this box. Um, they give me an old toolbox and all Snap-on and Mac tools, so I don't have to provide my tools at this new company. But as you can see, we have air tool oil, some PB blaster in the can, uh, some old safety wire I had, 20 mil for aircraft Thermotax, uh, gasket maker, some random screwdrivers, couple of uh, funnels, uh, my uh, magnet cup holder, some sandpaper, and this is, I should know this by now, uh, 180, that's what I thought, uh, extra safety wire, a snap-on uh, pocket screwdriver, which is literally my key to the box because the lock broke, my toast inspection light, my, uh, I forget what brand this is, Muller Cupes uh, light, uh, as you can see, it's flexible, has a hook on the back. Uh, sorry for the background noise, guys. I'm going to out in the county. I, I live in an apartment, so I could take this box back with me. I had to put it in my dad's garage. Um, I'm, 20, I'm getting ready to be 22 here in May, so, you know, still trying to get a house and stuff. But uh, I love this thing. It has been amazing. It's got a magnet, as you can see. Anyway, it charges in that, or you can charge it by USB port there. Uh, my... Uh, Expensive $135 string light or string light, stream, uh, stream light, uh, flashlight, and my Milwaukee battery charger for my uh, hex or uh, bit impact and my drill. Uh, ear protection, a couple hooks, uh, and some more funnels down here. And again, it's been stickered up. Favorite sticker is right here Sonic's Tools. Um, anyway. This box is going to be where I put my extra metric wrenches. Uh, I've got some of my toolbox in the truck. Those are going to stay on my grab. Just probably a set of sun out and just put in here the bit like big ones and go all the way up. Um, that's what I'm going to do there. Here is my 
kind of extra standard stuff. All my angled wrenches up to an inch and a quarter. Uh, which are here, I couldn't fit them back there. Adjustables, stubby ratcheting wrenches, uh, double in or um, offset boxing wrenches, and a little ratcheting one. Um, it's quite a mess again. This is not the way it was set up at work because it's not working aviation anymore. I've redesigned it. I gotta get a new, well, that's not this drawer, but anyway, plier drawer. I'm rearranging, but you know, typical pliers. Actually, I'm gonna take that up for project. Safety wire pliers that you use in aviation, very expensive. Uh, you know, typical pliers, cutters, snap ring pliers, etc. Uh, down here we've got my hammers, tape measure file, center punch, filler gauges, scales, uh, uh, thread gauges, files, you know, all the typical stuff, and a file brush way back there. Um, down here we've got, I gotta get another uh, drawer liner. But this is all my screwdrivers. This this used to be up here because in aviation there's a lot of screws. It was a go-to. Well, <clears throat> don't really need it a lot down here. I also got my Cornwall tool pocket pouch with some stuff in it. I got a speed handle, extra bits, pocket screwdriver, snap-on screwdriver right here. Um, so down here, while I'm already here, is just my kits. We got my die grinder, extra air fittings, drill bits, just kind of a hot spot of things in here. Die grinding equipment. Drill bits. Um, I think it's one to sixty. Uh, screwdriver bits. Uh, long, uh, standard uh, Allen wrench uh, sockets. Hatching T handle. Um, I'm gonna take this with me as well. That is a hatching screwdriver bit set. Uh, so and eh, it's decent. It's a Walmart brand. Uh, bad day kit. Up, just tap and die and extractors, some Allen wrenches, some extra bolts in there. Um, put these up because I need that for the project. Go down here. This used to be where my air tools were, but again, I'm not going to use a lot of air tools right now. Uh, I've gone kind of more to cordless stuff. So this drawer used to be right here. And this is kind of the random scrapers, extra batteries, uh, some clamps. Uh, specialty hardware made for certain things, knives, pins, notepads, uh, picks, uh, inspection mirrors, a whole bunch of those, o-ring picks, cotter pin removal tool, you name it, it's their pocket air blow gun, love this thing, a little bushing, bearing, uh, aluminum, and this is the bottom door that basically houses just junk right now, uh, gloves, not really junk, but stuff I just random stuff in this drawer. Uh, some of my air tools that are back there I don't use. Uh, respirators, first aid kit, knee pads, calculator, wire crimpers, which are going to go up here for now. Uh, aviation snips. That's pretty much it. So like I said, I'm um, getting ready to start this new job Monday. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.